Hey guys, it's Jessica. So today on Lazy Bake, we're going to be making brownies. And if you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably know that I'm obsessed with making these type of brownies. This brownie recipe is really simple, really fast. It's, you know, I'm not in any shape or form a great baker at all. Actually, I never used to bake but recently I've gotten into it. So I will leave the link to the recipe down below so you could either follow along or use it at another time. What I like to do is I like to look at the recipe and then get all of the ingredients out. I have like, you know, my measuring cups, my cups, like all of my, you know, ingredients, flour, sugar. So everything is down here. So it's really easy to like, you know, get. Okay, directions. Number one, preheat oven to 350. So I'm gonna do that. Start. All right, so I'm gonna make my brownies in this. This is like a nine by nine pan. It says in a medium bowl, mix together oil, sugar, and vanilla. So it says we need half a cup vegetable oil. We're going to measure that. And we're gonna put it in the bowl. All right, geez. This always reminds me of chemistry. I'm like pouring this in and making sure it's the right amount. All right. So we put that in like that into our bowl. Yay. And then we could just like put this in the sink or put it in the dishwasher if your dishwasher works. It's really good to like clean up while you're baking, like as you go, clean up as you go, so then your space doesn't get overcrowded. It calls for one cup white sugar, whatever. So after that, it wants the vanilla. The vanilla, we need one teaspoon vanilla extract. One teaspoon. It's not to be confused with tablespoon. The next step is, yeah, I gotta mix that together, so I'm just using this spoon. And so, it looks a little something like snow. Right, so this calls for two eggs, and I have two eggs over here. I always use cold eggs. So, this is my favorite part. Eggs. <laughs> Alright, there's one, and here's two. Oops, that got everywhere. <laughs> Whoopsies. We're going to mix those in. And then we need the flour. And then just mix with them. I'm gonna leave it kind of like that. Kind of runny like that. Half a cup, got this. And with this, you have to be like really precise because the flour helps it rise. So I'm gonna get a knife. This is a butter knife, so. I can make sure it's leveled. So do you guys see what I'm doing kind of? I know it's kind of far away. But you want a flat, nice cup of flour. Just so carefully, all right, to be packed. So we've got half a cup of flour. Let's drop that right in there. There's a quarter cup. And so I'm taking some baking powder not to be confused with baking soda, totally separate things. All right, and also you wanna just make sure you have enough of this, make sure it's all in there. So you just go like that. Scrape it against the little edge right there. So we're gonna put that in, and then I believe we're gonna put in the cocoa and salt. So I think, let's see how much salt. A quarter teaspoon salt. So I'm using kosher salt. You can use regular salt, but I'm just gonna use kosher salt. All right, so that's good. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure that this is all one color and it's all well blended. Just gonna mix it right, right up. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Okay, anyways, you have to be really careful because the powder will spray at you like it did right now. Okay, 
but it's okay because I added a little extra cocoa powder. Yeah, it's getting everywhere. So yeah, it doesn't even matter. So you gotta, I don't like using a mixer, an electronic, electric mixer, I don't really like that. I like how you get exercise by moving your own rotations. So it's getting to a nice mixture. <laughs> it's getting to this like nice brownie doughy consistency. I guess not really doughy, but it's getting thick. Gotta make sure there aren't any dry ingredients left on the sides of the bowl because that could ruin your brownies. All right, so now I think it's ready. We're going to grease our pan. We're just gonna use some non-sticking cooking spray. I'm just gonna spray it, oops, spray it in the right direction. All right, right over here, just like this. All right, that's a lot. And now we're gonna put this on the side, put this in the pan. Our brownie batter inside, and I like to put it in the middle so then it can disperse. So I get all of that in there. There we go. See, look at the bowl. Mmm, it's not like good. And then at this point, like if you wanted to add chocolate chips or walnuts, you could add it on top if you wanted. And also, you can use your fingers. <laughs> it looks something like this. I'm just gonna go like this, shake it up a little bit. So it's all even. And now we're gonna set this in the oven for 20 minutes. In the middle rack for 20 minutes. <laughs> Yay, this is my favorite part. Look at all that, yum. So good. At this point, you want to get a cooling rack thingy ready because it's going to be hot. So I have this strawberry one. And what I'm going to do is when I take the pan out of the oven, I'm just going to set it down so it can cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys in 19 minutes. So right now, you can, there's six minutes left on the clock. We can now maybe prepare some milk or... If you want to add frosting and sprinkles, you can. You could probably get it out right now. And this is cream cheese. Wow. Cream cheese frosting. Is that really necessary? All right. I'm going to go test it out right now. Let's see. Oh, where's my cheese? Okay. All right. They look, they look ready. I'm just going to turn off the oven right now. All right, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna get my toothpick. We're going to see. Ooh, I think they're perfect. Because yesterday, yesterday I baked, last night I baked brownies and they were kind of dry and I was kind of really sad. But now these look really good and super moist. Yes. I like soft brownies. I mean, if you like, drier brownies, I would suggest, okay, the only difference between last night's, last night's recipe and today's recipe is the temperature of the eggs, because I used room temperature eggs yesterday, and my brownies came out kind of dry, and I used cold eggs for this, and I think they're going to come out, like, moist and nice and awesome, so we will see. I'm really impatient, so I'm just going to get a knife and then cut it. The bread is into squares. I'm just going to, ooh, yes. All right, now you get to eat your brownies. This is my favorite part of baking. Yum. Mmm. It's super soft, super moist, and it tastes like I added chocolate chips, but as you can see in the video, we never added chocolate chips. So, yeah. So guys, let me know if you like this video. Also let me know if you try it out. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.